Welcome back to Power Plus Mobility product training session. Today we're going to talk about the Extreme Tilt Chair. This is a dynamic tilt and uh, one of the key features of this chair is the fact that we can uh, get into 25 degrees of tilt without compromising the front seat to floor height. So your standard tilt chair uh, will allow anywhere from 45 to 55 degrees of tilt depending on which uh, tilt chair you're going to use. But what ends up happening is your feet will come way up in the air. This chair is specifically designed uh, to have somebody foot propel while they're repositioned in the chair. So by having a 25 degrees of tilt, uh, we're offloading their ITs and putting a little bit more pressure on the back and repositioning them throughout the day. Now, we are able to put a lockout collar on this chair as well. And what I mean by a lockout collar is if you see in through here, there's a little indicator of how many degrees of tilt we have currently in the chair. So right now, uh, we have 25 degrees of tilt. I can't go any more than that. But if you want to lock the tilt out at that degree, which on the indicator it shows about 17 degrees of tilt, we're able to lock out the cylinder so they, can no longer, so they can't go any further than that. Mm -hmm. So this is a... Um, uh, it's a dynamic tilt with an extremely low seat to floor heights and seat to floor heights are very very important for foot propellers because you want to be able to have them reach the ground and striking distance with their heels when they're propelling the chair. Our low seat to floor height of this chair is 12 and a quarter, uh, ranges anywhere right up to 18 and a quarter. So there's a large range. The important thing to understand about our STP is that when you go down to a 12 and a quarter seat to floor height, we're not putting tiny, tiny wheels on it. We're putting 20 inch wheels on the rear and we're putting five inch casters on the front. So this chair here is configured with 20s and fives and a low seat to floor height. So when they do go into that 20 or 25 degrees of tilt, they, um, they're able to reach the hand rims and, and hand propel along with foot propelling the chair. So those are some of the key features. So rolling over to the back of the chair here, we have a standard option on our STP, which is, I'll just take the headrest off, our adjustable stroll handles. And I have two trigger mechanisms, one on my left, one on my right, all of which I can adjust the stroll handles in an upright position, or I can adjust them in a, in a lower position. Why do we have adjustable stroll handles? Well, when we do go into tilt, we want for that caregiver to be able to reach the handles when it's in its lowest position and vice versa. So if we go up to an upright position, we don't want them reaching the handles high, but having the option of reaching it at a very comfortable level. The trigger mechanism for the tilt is always mounted on the stroller cane over to the right here. Um, and it's we can mount it any which way we want anywhere on the chair, but our standard is that we mount it on the back cane here. Our anti-tippers are also height adjustable in through no tools. So by simply triggering the anti-tipper in through here, I can adjust the anti-tipper. Why is that a nice option to have? If we're trying to get the client above a curb or an obstacle, we want to have the caregiver the capability of lifting the anti-tipper all the way up and having that full clearance in through here. Rolling over to the adjustability of the chair, this chair is set up with an extremely tight footprint and by having a very tight footprint that allows us for a very tight turning radius and easier turning from left to right. Why is that important? If you're in a very confined premises, we need to have the ability to adjust this chair to its tightest footprint or if we have somebody that is tall, six foot or and so forth, we want to be able to have a longer footprint so we have a rear axle that we can move to the rear and we can take our front journal and move it in a, uh, in a uh, leading position here. So that increases the stability of the chair. So there's a lot of adjustability in through this frame here as well. The arm options, we have the capability of just pulling a trigger and adjusting the arm upward, setting it at its highest position or setting it at its lowest position. The extreme also comes with an option of lower arms. So if your client has a shorter torso or a longer torso, we can configure the arms the way you, you would like to. 
Coming over to the brake system, the, this is what we call a push to lock braking system, which is an aluminum assembly. And we have the option of doing a pull to lock if that's what's preferred from the client. Steel brakes or aluminum are two options on the chair. It's what you prefer best. They work, both work very, very well. The front rigging on this is standard throughout our entire product line. So if you have front rigging from an STP, a glider, a Voyager, they're all interchangeable, all the parts. And that goes for the arms and so forth. So the front rigging is a one touch swing in or a one touch swing out mechanism. Now one of the options that we did add this year was having a tube here that flares outward which gives your client more room to foot propel in between the two uh, hangers that currently exist. Another key option for the STP, uh, for the extreme, excuse me, is the fact that if your client can no longer foot propel and we need to get their feet off the ground, we simply remove this bolt and we put it into a higher position here and that what that does is it takes our, our mid frame, our tilting mechanism, increases the height of it, and then we can put front rigging on it, and now it acts as another tilt chair that we can push the client around in. As far as the sizes of the chair, it comes anywhere from 14 to 18 as a standard in width, 14 to 18 as a standard in depth, and um, we can go anywhere from 14 to 26 in depth, 14 to 32 in width. So those are some of the things we can do, and here you have the extreme. Thank you, and I hope you learned something.